something that I, you know, we covered a couple years ago. This guy right here, Coach, um, Coach Broughton, man, wonderful human being, man. Um, Coach Jay Broughton, um, he was tragically killed. And today his um, killer, um, this is a story I've been following, um, was given a life sentence with the possibility of parole in 30 years. So um, if you're not familiar with this case, man, I'll just give you a refresher, man. This, this is this is a, this is a happy day, man. Because people like this need to be off the road. Speaking of um, highway shootings, people like this need to be off the road, man, and off the street because they they took a um, they took a, 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 a national treasure, local national treasure. I would say a local treasure away for absolutely no reason. Well, the case started as a needle in a haystack, but now a man who Plymouth police believe was involved in the deadly July shooting on Highway 169 is in jail. 33-year-old Jamal Lindsey Smith is expected to be transferred from Illinois to Minnesota soon, and police say he'll be charged with second-degree murder and the death of Jay Bowden. But how did police zero in on Smith when the case at one point looked hopeless? Care 11's Lou Raguse has been digging into it for weeks and joins us now with more. Lou? Well, Julie and Randy, over the last eight weeks, Plymouth police spent 1,500 hours working on this case. It was a textbook. See how hard it is to solve these highway shootings? It takes a long time to round up every sun man in town. That's right. That's what did. <laughs> right. <laughs> police spent 1,500 hours working on this case. It was a textbook digital forensic investigation with a big break found on Facebook. Authorities believe this video broadcast on Facebook Live is the key to solving the murder of shot himself. Coach Jay Bowden, shot and killed in July on Highway 169, allegedly by someone who fired the deadly shot from a light-colored SUV captured in this grainy traffic cam video that night. We are proud to be able to provide an update today that an arrest has been made in the connection with Jay's murder. After repeated requests for tips, court records revealed this- got the Arabic shit on the strap. Case. It was posted on July 6, just hours before the 169 murder, showing one man with a gun on his lap and another man with a gun in the back seat. But how did police find it and connect it to the murder? Please give us a call. After police released a description of the SUV, search warrants obtained by CARE 11 show they got a tip from a local towing company. It was an abandoned rental car, a Chevy Suburban matching the description with a Colorado plate. When investigators checked the plate and the address of the person who rented it, they checked security video of a nearby gas station and identified a man driving the same SUV. And when they checked his social media posts, they discovered this. 33-year-old Jamal Smith had posted a video of himself earlier the same day of the shooting, waving a gun. Police say it matches the type of gun used in the shooting. At one point, the video shows a passenger in the car, and later, another man in the back seat also holding a gun. Yo, that's Damn. what's driving around. That's what's driving around listening to music, like cruise, not going nowhere, just cruising. Like, yo, you got some bitches? Yeah, they over here. All right, we go over there. Man, we got to stop at the liquor store first, though, man. Hey, we got to get some weed. My baby mother. Hold on. We're going to stop at the baby mother house. My brother got some weed. Just cruising, like not going, not doing nothing. Not the talk and all that bullshit. If there's any fucking proof that the talk is bullshit, the fact that niggas ride around like this all the time. Yo, this is Mark Zuckerberg's fault, man, for giving us Facebook. Man. <laughs> he, he needs to do time for this. And uh, if they hadn't done I, this incredible act of self-snitching stupidity, they probably would have never found him. Like, never. Oh, yeah. murdered, and nobody knows what happened. True. His social media posts, they discovered this. 33-year-old Jamal Smith had posted a video of himself earlier the same day of the shooting, waving a gun. Police say it matches the type of gun used in the shooting. At one point, the video shows a passenger in the car, and later, another man in the back seat also holding a gun. After reviewing those images, investigators told a judge the interior of the car matches the abandoned SUV they've seized. 
and have been processing. Pulling all those pieces together, the search warrants we obtained show police were able to trace the suspected shooter's entire route. The SUV leaving this vet clinic in Arden Hills just minutes before it was shown entering I-694. The traffic cam video shows the same SUV weaving in and out of traffic, following it all the way to Highway 169, where authorities say MnDOT video shows the SUV trying to change lanes, apparently blocked by the coach's car when the shooting occurred. <laughs> That's this, is, this is, like I said, to die over the fact that like you happen to be in the way of a some man who just fucking gets that impulse to swerve into the other lane, and you're there, so he kills you. If, if you That's think, your, the summation of your life. No, well, no, if, if you really think about it, huh, this guy died because his ancestors brought slaves from Africa. Biggest I'm, crime the I'm, ancestors ever committed, bringing Africa I'm going, I'm, to I'm, unspoiled new world. If you think about it, it makes sense. Hit the like button, man. Let's go for 300 likes, man. Um, I, I think the reason this guy died, this guy, Bolton, Coach Bolton died, was he crossed paths with some sun men who were riding around, listening to gangster music, probably drinking, having a good time. Like, let's be honest, man. Let's not act like these guys were like, pissed off or down about something and they were taking right. it hey, these guys were happy right <laughs> you know what did, did you did you just say probably drinking yeah I these guys drink. were having a great time definitely drinking he looks happier than i ever been in my whole life yeah it's charming that's the part go. that's that's Smart. that's probably um the most dangerous part about all of this is that they're having a good time imagine if you catch him while he's just like having a shitty day you know what i'm saying like they're having a good time riding weaving through traffic uh, listening yeah turn up turn up want to weave you're just right there you didn't stop for one of them they they haven't even been around you long enough. They're like going through. So like you just girl one weave, you're right there, bomb bomb bomb, and then they keep going. So they don't even know happier they than killed before you. they did it. They don't even know that they killed you. They don't even. They just know they shot at you. The SUV leaving this vet clinic in Arden Hills just minutes before it was shown entering I-694. The traffic cam video shows the same SUV weaving in and out of traffic, following it all the way to Highway 169, where authorities say MnDOT video shows the SUV trying to change lanes, apparently blocked by the coach's car when the shooting occurred. Finally, a police report shows authorities were able to track Smith down in Decatur, Illinois, by tracing where he last posted on Facebook. Now, Plymouth Police Chief Eric Fadden wouldn't say today whether more arrests are expected, but made it clear they're investigating. <laughs> then post the stupidest shit on Facebook. You be your closest people to be your real enemies, dog. Like, all oh, the fucking enemies of Western civilization. What a tragedy. Yeah. I mean, jeez, Louise, man. Yeah, good thing the ops got this one for sure. 